Um, Born Digital in general is the effort to bring in content, whether it be copyright related content or non copyright related content, collections related content, in other words, um, in its original digital form. In other words, we don't ever want to have content that originated as a file on, at the production side to have to be put to a physical submission and then sent to us. Um, and so the Born Digital system is the effort to develop the workflows to allow that to happen in an automated fashion and to allow those files to be brought into the Deep Archive with all the metadata and cataloging they need to make everything work as it should. Um, there are three pillars to live capture. This is one of the three to pillars. To Born Digital. I'm sorry, to Born Digital. Live capture is one of them. Um, Born Digital is uh, a system, as a system, is in the R1, which you'll see in a second. Uh, the two other pillars are Live Capture, which is the room we're in right now, and then Physical Media Intake. The most uh, involved challenge has been how to, um, you know, not necessarily how to get the data connections here, that's actually pretty straightforward, but what to do with the information once it's here on local, uh, on local servers. We need to make sure that, first of all, anything coming in from the outside is checked for any malware, viruses, whatever. Uh, we need to make sure that the content itself uh, arrived in a usable condition, in other words, do an essence check. So you don't want digital right man rights managed media and stuff that you may have to, or you may have problems with Correct. access. In other words, our uh, mission statement here at the library, especially from a copyright perspective, is it has to be viewable when it arrives. So things like digital cinema files, which are encrypted with keys that are specific to the projector, we can't accept those because um, you know this file, a thousand years from now, that key's no longer going to exist, and we're not going to be able to decrypt that uh, material. And so we're having to work with the various copyright partners to develop systems that are unencrypted but still make sure that the uh, access restrictions and the safety precautions they need to protect their very valuable content are maintained. Um, that said, the, the design of our data systems here at the library uh, are heavily built around making sure that folks who aren't supposed to be in the system don't get into the system. Uh, and there are both physical and electronic uh, hurdles to get past to be able to be here. In other words, we have some air gaps where if you don't have a cable going between point A and point B, there's no way that you can see certain things in the outside world. Thanks. That's intentional. This is actually part of that. Um, so the concept behind live capture 